Now, yesterday, I made this same point at a town hall in Florida. I said one thing I've learned is that you can't change Washington just from the inside. You change it from the outside. You change it because people are mobilized. You change it with the help of ordinary Americans who are willing to make their voices heard because the, the, the decency and the goodness and the common sense of Americans, that's what moves the country forward. Now, for some reason, my opponent got really excited. He rewrote his speech real quick. He stood up at a rally, proudly declared, I'll get the job done from the inside. What kind of inside job is he talking about? Is it the job of rubber stamping the top down, you're on your own agenda of this Republican Congress? Because if it is, we don't want it. If it's the job of letting oil companies write our energy policy, we don't want it. If it's the job of outsourcers writing our tax code, we don't want it. If it's the job of letting politicians decide who you can marry or control the health care choices that women should be able to make for themselves, we'll take a pass. We don't want an inside job in Washington. We want change in Washington. And from the day we began this campaign, we've always said that change takes more than one term or even one president, and it certainly takes more than one party. It can't happen if you write off half the nation before you even took office. In 2008, 47% of the country didn't vote for me. But on the night of the election, I said to all those Americans, I may not have won your vote, but I hear your voices. I need your help, and I will be your president. And, 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 and for everybody who's watching, or anybody here who's still undecided, I, I, I don't know how many people are going to vote for me this time around. But, 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 hold on. But, but I'm telling the American people, I will be fighting for you no matter what. I will be your president no matter what. I'm not fighting to create Democratic jobs or Republican jobs. I'm fighting to create American jobs. I'm not fighting to improve red state schools or blue state schools. I'm fighting to improve schools in the United States of America. The values we believe in don't just belong to workers or businesses, the 53% or the 47%, the rich or the poor, the 1%, the 99%. These are American values. They belong to all of us.